Lesson 4.2a, Model Fraction Division. We can model fraction division by first modeling the total. Then we circle groups that are the size of the divisor and count the number of groups. We have 10 divided by 5. We draw 10 dots. We put 5 dots in each group. That means we're going to have two groups. In some division problems, we may know how many are in each group and need to find the number of groups. If we have 12, that's the total, that's our dividend, and we need to divide it by 4, that'll be our divisor, that's how many are in each group, we'll have three groups. There's four in each groups. But in other division problems, we may know the number of groups, and now that's our divisor, and we need to find the number in each group. In that case, we don't draw the total first. We draw the groups, and we fill them evenly until we have 12. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have three groups, and we see there's four in each group. Our quotient is four. Here we have two-thirds divided by one-third, and it's saying it's equal to two. We have a whole pizza. We have two-thirds of it, so let's take this one away. So now we have two-thirds of a pizza. It's divided by one-third. That means we have two-thirds of a pizza cut into thirds, and that's the size of the slices. It's going to make two slices. We can check this with multiplication because by multiplying the quotient by the divisor, it'll equal the dividend. Multiplication is the inverse of division. We learned that in the last video, 4.1c, which will be linked in the description. We can see that we can write the whole number 2 over a 1 to make it a fraction, and we multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. It's 2 thirds, just like here, the dividend. And we know our answer is correct. It's 2. Here we have 1 half divided by 2. So if this is 1 whole, then this is half. We need to split this half into 2. And if we do, like right like this, that means it's going to be 1 fourth. If we divide half into 2 equal parts, each part will be 1 fourth. So the quotient is 1 fourth. Now, if you're really confused about this division and modeling this, I'm going to have a link to 5th grade math 8.4 where we did this. Maybe that'll be easier to understand. Here we have a word problem. Four people share one half pound of chocolate equally. How much chocolate does each person receive? So we think we need to divide one half into four equal parts. We have one half divided by four. That's going to tell us how many pounds of chocolate each person will get. So the red bar is one whole. And if half is in four parts, one whole would be eight parts because we would have four parts here and four parts here. So we know it's in eight parts. This means each of the four equal parts is one-eighth of the whole. This means that each person is going to get one-eighth pound of chocolate. They're each going to get one of these. We can use models to divide mixed fractions. We use the same way. We model division of whole numbers. Our equation is 2 and 1 fourth divided by 3 fourths. We take three whole rectangles because we have 2 and 1 fourth. We round up to the nearest whole, next nearest whole number. That would be 3. So now we've got three rectangles, and we split them into fourths. So we have 4 fourths here, 4 fourths here, 4 fourths here, and we shade in 1 2, and 1 fourth. The shaded part represents the total, the dividend. 
the number of fourths inside each circle represents the divisor. So we're going to circle three fourths. We've got a three fourths here. We've got one, two, three. That would be the other one. And we have one, two, three. We have another three fourths. The number of groups, the number of circles we made, represents the quotient. We model two and one fourth by drawing three rectangles of equal size. We shade in two and one fourth of the rectangles. We circle groups of three fourths, which is groups of three one fourth pieces. Then we count the number of groups we circled. Two and one fourth divided by three fourths is three. We have three circles, three groups. We can use graph paper to help us draw the model. We shade two whole rectangles and one fourth of a third rectangle. We circle three one fourth squares. One, two, three, that's one circle. These are each a fourth. One, two, three, that's another circle. And one, two, three. So each of these circles contain three fourths. We count the circles for the quotient. We have three circles, each containing three fourths. The quotient is three. So as I said, I'm going to have some fifth grade math chapter eight divide fraction videos in this description if you need them, because you really want to understand this before we move on. We've finished 4.2a, and we're going to talk about reciprocals, and then we're going to finish 4.2 with the rest of the lessons. I actually like reciprocals. I think of them as wacky upside down fractions. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time, and hit that like button so I know you understood. Bye.